I'm thrilled to share with you some powerful insights on achieving realistic goals. Are you someone who struggles with setting goals and actually achieving them? Do you find yourself constantly setting high expectations for yourself, only to end up feeling disappointed and defeated? Well, you are certainly not alone. In today's fast-paced world, it can be challenging to stay focused and motivated towards our goals. But fear not, because in today's message, I am going to share with you five powerful ways to achieve realistic goals and turn your dreams into reality. You see, I have spent decades studying and teaching the principles of success and personal development, and one of the key factors that I have found to be crucial in achieving success is setting realistic goals. It's not about setting impossible goals that leave us feeling overwhelmed and discouraged. It's about setting goals that are challenging yet attainable, and then taking consistent action towards them. So, if you are ready to turn things around and finally achieve the success you desire, then I urge you to keep reading this message. By the end of it, you will have a clear understanding of how to set realistic goals and the steps you need to take to make them a reality. So let's get started. Starting with the number 5 way to achieve realistic goals, by celebrating your successes. You see, we live in a society that is constantly pushing us to strive for more, to never settle, to always be on the go. And while ambition and drive are important, we often forget to take a step back and recognize how far we have come. We are so focused on the end goal that we forget to appreciate the journey and celebrate our achievements along the way. So. What I mean by celebration, it can be as simple as acknowledging your progress, giving yourself a pat on the back, or treating yourself to something special. It's about taking a moment to reflect on your accomplishments and feeling proud of yourself. Now, some of you may be thinking, but Jim, I haven't achieved my ultimate goal yet. How can I celebrate? And to that, I say, celebrate the small wins. Every step towards your goal is a victory and it is important to acknowledge and celebrate them. It will give you the motivation and drive to keep going. Let me share a personal story with you. When I first started my journey towards success, I had a big dream but I didn't know how to get there. I set small goals for myself, and with each one I achieved, I celebrated. It could be something as simple as finishing a book or making a new connection in my field. And you know what? Those celebrations kept me going. They reminded me that I was making progress and that my dream was within reach. Now, I want you to imagine this. You're on a long road trip, and your destination is a beautiful beach. Along the way, you pass by breathtaking landscapes, charming towns, and interesting landmarks. Do you just focus on reaching the beach, or do you take a moment to appreciate and enjoy these little moments? I hope you said the latter, because life is not just about the destination. It is about the journey and the experiences we have along the way. The same goes for our goals. It is not just about reaching the end goal, it is about the process and the growth we experience. And celebrating our successes is a way to acknowledge and appreciate that growth. Now, I want to address something that holds many of us back from celebrating our successes. Fear of complacency. We are afraid that if we celebrate, we will become content and lose our drive to keep going. But let me tell you, celebration does not equal complacency. In fact, it is quite the opposite. Celebrating our successes gives us the motivation and confidence to keep pushing towards our goals. It is like fuel for our journey. So, how can we incorporate celebration into our goal-setting process? First and foremost, set realistic goals. This is crucial because when we set unrealistic goals, we set ourselves up for failure, and failure is not something to celebrate. But when we set realistic goals, we can celebrate our progress and achievements along the way. Secondly, keep track of your progress. This can be in the form of a journal, a vision board, or any other method that works for you. When you have a visual representation of your progress, it becomes easier to see how far you have come and celebrate your successes. Lastly, don't be afraid to share your successes with others. Celebrating with friends and loved ones not only makes the experience more enjoyable but also holds you accountable and keeps you motivated. Which leads us to number four. Achieve realistic goals by staying accountable. 
Accountability is the glue that holds all the other ingredients together. It is the key to unlocking your full potential and achieving your goals. Without accountability, your goals are just mere wishes and dreams. They will remain out of reach, and you will continue to struggle and feel unfulfilled. So, what exactly is accountability? Simply put, it is taking responsibility for your actions and their outcomes. It is being answerable to yourself and others for the results you produce. It is about owning your mistakes and learning from them. It is about being consistent and persistent in your efforts, even when things get tough. Accountability is not about blaming others or making excuses. It is about taking control of your life and making things happen. It is about being proactive instead of reactive. It is about being the driver of your own destiny rather than a passenger. Now, let me ask you. How many of you have set goals for yourself in the past and failed to achieve them? I'm sure many of you have. And if I were to ask you the reason for your failure, what would you say? Lack of time, lack of resources, lack of support. While these may seem like valid reasons, the real reason behind your failure is lack of accountability. You see, when you are not accountable, you tend to make excuses and blame external factors for your lack of progress. You give yourself a way out by saying, I couldn't achieve my goal because I didn't have enough time, or I didn't have the right resources. But the truth is, these are just excuses that you use to justify your lack of commitment and effort. On the other hand, when you are accountable, you take ownership of your actions and their outcomes. You don't make excuses. Instead, you find solutions. You don't waste time complaining. Instead, you take action. You don't wait for the perfect conditions. Instead, you make the best of what you have. Accountability is not just about achieving your goals. It is also about personal growth and development. When you hold yourself accountable, you become more self-aware. You recognize your strengths and weaknesses and work on improving them. You become more disciplined and focused. You become more resilient and adaptable. You become a better version of yourself. Now, let me share with you three ways to stay accountable and achieve your goals. First and foremost, set clear and measurable goals. As I mentioned earlier, this is the first step towards achieving any goal. When your goals are specific and measurable, it becomes easier to hold yourself accountable. You know exactly what you are working towards, and you can track your progress. It also helps you to break down your goals into smaller manageable tasks which makes it easier to stay on track. Secondly, find an accountability partner or join a mastermind group. Having someone to hold you accountable can be a game changer. It could be a friend, family member, or a coach. Choose someone who will be honest with you and push you to do your best. Joining a mastermind group is also a great way to stay accountable. You can share your goals with like-minded individuals and receive support and feedback. It also creates a sense of healthy competition, which can motivate you to stay on track. Lastly, track your progress and celebrate your wins. It is crucial to track your progress regularly. This will help you to identify any areas where you may be falling behind and make necessary adjustments. It will also give you a sense of accomplishment when you see how far you have come. And don't forget to celebrate your wins, no matter how small they may seem. This will keep you motivated and energized to keep going. Which leads us to number three. Achieve realistic goals by creating a plan and sticking to it. Now, let me tell you, creating a plan is not just about writing down your goals on a piece of paper. It's about creating a roadmap that will guide you towards your destination. It's about breaking down your big audacious goals into smaller actionable steps that you can take every day. It's about having a clear vision of where you want to go and how you're going to get there. But creating a plan is just the first step. The real challenge lies in sticking to it. You see, it's easy to get caught up in the busyness of life and lose track of our goals. It's easy to get distracted by shiny objects and lose sight of our priorities. But if we want to achieve our goals, we must have the discipline and the commitment to stick to our plan, no matter what. Now, I know what some of you may be thinking. But Jim, creating a plan and sticking to it sounds so boring and restrictive. I want to live my life freely, without any rules or restrictions. 
Well, my friends, let me tell you this. Having a plan and sticking to it is not about restricting yourself. It's about giving yourself the freedom to live the life you truly desire. Think about it. When you have a plan, you know exactly what you need to do and when you need to do it. You have a sense of direction and purpose. You don't waste your time and energy on things that don't align with your goals. And most importantly, you have a sense of control over your life. You are not at the mercy of circumstances. Rather, you are the one who is in charge. But let me be clear. Creating a plan and sticking to it does not guarantee success. It's not a magic formula that will automatically make all your dreams come true. It's just a tool, a powerful tool that will help you turn your dreams into a reality. It's up to you to put in the hard work and dedication to make it happen. And I know it's not easy. It takes a lot of discipline and determination to stick to a plan, especially when things get tough. But that's where the power of commitment comes in. You see, when you make a commitment to yourself, you are making a promise to yourself that you will do whatever it takes to achieve your goals. And when you have that kind of commitment, nothing can stop you. Now, I want to share with you a simple yet powerful technique that will help you stick to your plan. It's called the five minute rule. Whenever you feel like giving up or getting distracted, just tell yourself that you will work on your goal for just five minutes. And I can guarantee you, once you get started, you will find the motivation and momentum to keep going. But let me warn you, there will be days when you will feel like giving up. There will be days when you will doubt yourself and your abilities. But that's when you need to remind yourself of your why. Why did you set this goal in the first place? What is it that you truly want? And most importantly, who do you want to become in the process? Remember, the journey towards achieving your goals is not just about the destination, it's about the person you become along the way. It's about the lessons you learn, the challenges you overcome, and the growth you experience. So don't give up, don't lose sight of your goals, and most importantly, don't lose sight of who you want to become. Which leads us to number two. Achieve realistic goals by breaking down big goals into smaller achievable tasks. This may seem like a simple concept, but it is one of the most powerful tools for achieving success. Many of us have big dreams and goals, but we often get overwhelmed and discouraged when we think about the amount of work and time it will take to achieve them. But I am here to tell you that by breaking down those big goals into smaller achievable tasks, you can make your dreams a reality. Let me share with you a personal story. When I first started my career, I had a big goal of becoming a millionaire. It seemed like an impossible task, but I knew that I had to break it down into smaller achievable tasks. For I set a goal to save $100 every month. It may not seem like much, but it was a realistic and achievable task for me at that time. And as I continued to save and invest that money, I saw my goal getting closer and closer. And eventually, after years of hard work and dedication, I achieved my goal of becoming a millionaire. This is just one example of how breaking down big goals into smaller tasks can lead to success. So, how can you apply this principle to your own life? The first step is to clearly define your big goal. What is it that you want to achieve? Is it starting your own business, buying a house, or getting in shape? Whatever it may be, write it down and make it specific. Once you have your big goal in mind, it's time to break it down into smaller achievable tasks. This requires careful planning and organization. Sit down and think about all the steps that are necessary to achieve your goal. Then break those steps down into smaller tasks that you can work on each day. This will not only make your goals seem more manageable but will also give you a sense of progress and accomplishment as you check off each task. Another important aspect of breaking down big goals is to set realistic timelines. Don't try to rush through the process and achieve your goal in a short amount of time. This will only lead to burnout and disappointment. Instead, give yourself enough time to complete each task and make sure it aligns with your overall timeline for achieving your big goal. Now, I want to address a common misconception about breaking down big goals. Some people may think that by breaking down their goals into smaller tasks, they are somehow lowering their expectations or settling for less. 
But let me tell you, that is not the case. In fact, breaking down your goals can help you achieve even bigger and more ambitious goals in the long run. Think of it this way. If you set a big goal without breaking it down, you may get overwhelmed and give up before you even start. But by breaking it down into smaller tasks, you are creating a roadmap for success. And as you achieve each task, you gain confidence and momentum, which can propel you towards even bigger goals. I also want to mention the importance of accountability when it comes to breaking down big goals. It's easy to get off track and lose focus when we are working towards a big goal. But by having someone hold us accountable, whether it's a friend, mentor, or coach, we are more likely to stay on track and achieve our goals. In addition to accountability, it's also important to celebrate your successes along the way. Don't wait until you achieve your big goal to celebrate. Take the time to acknowledge and celebrate each task you complete. This will not only keep you motivated but will also help you appreciate the journey towards your big goal. Which leads us to number one. Achieve realistic goals by setting specific and measurable goals. You see, the problem with most people is that they have vague and general goals. They say things like, I want to be successful, or, I want to be rich. But what does success or being rich mean to them? Without a clear definition and a specific plan, these goals remain nothing but distant dreams. As the saying goes, a goal without a plan is just a wish. So, the first step towards achieving any goal is to make it specific. This means defining exactly what you want to achieve. For example, instead of saying, I want to be successful, specify what success means to you. Is it financial stability, a fulfilling career, or a happy family life? The more specific you are, the clearer your path towards that goal will be. The second step is to make your goals measurable. This means setting a quantifiable target that you can track and measure your progress against. For instance, instead of saying, I want to be rich, set a specific amount of money that you want to earn in a certain period of time. This will help you stay motivated and focused on your goal. Now, some of you may be wondering, why is it so important to set specific and measurable goals? Well, let me tell you from my own experience. I used to have vague goals just like most people. But it wasn't until I started setting specific and measurable goals that I saw a significant change in my life. You see, when you have a specific and measurable goal, you have a clear target to aim for. It's like having a destination on a map. You know exactly where you want to go, and you can plan your journey accordingly. This clarity and focus are what drive you towards your goal. Moreover, setting specific and measurable goals helps you break down your big, long-term goals into smaller, achievable ones. This makes the process less overwhelming and more manageable. It also allows you to track your progress and make any necessary adjustments along the way. Now, some of you may still be skeptical and think, but what if I don't achieve my goal? My answer to that is, it's better to aim for the moon and land among the stars than to aim for nothing and end up with nothing. Even if you don't achieve your goal, you would have made progress towards it, and that is something to be proud of. Plus, you can always reevaluate and set new specific and measurable goals. One important thing to keep in mind while setting goals is to make them realistic. Yes, we all have big dreams, and that's great. But setting unrealistic goals will only lead to disappointment and frustration. It's essential to be honest with yourself and set goals that are achievable within a certain period of time. Another crucial aspect of setting specific and measurable goals is to write them down. Writing down your goals makes them more tangible and gives them a sense of importance. It also serves as a constant reminder of what you're working towards. So get a pen and paper or use a goal setting app and write down your goals. Now, setting specific and measurable goals is only the first step towards achieving them. The next step is to take action. You can have the most well-defined goals, but if you don't take action, they will remain just that, goals. So break down your goals into smaller, actionable steps and start working towards them. Remember, success is not a destination, it's a journey. And setting specific and measurable goals is the roadmap to that journey. It's what keeps you focused, 
motivated, and on track. So don't be afraid to dream big, but make sure to set specific and measurable goals to turn those dreams into reality. I want to leave you with this quote by Tony Robbins. Setting goals is the first step in turning the invisible into the visible. So let's make our goals visible by setting them specific and measurable. And I have no doubt that with determination, hard work, and a clear plan, you will achieve all your realistic goals and live a fulfilling and successful life. Thank you. In today's message, we're going to dive into the topic of goal setting and share with you some powerful strategies that will help you achieve your goals with ease. Now, I know that setting and achieving goals can sometimes feel like an uphill battle. We all have dreams and aspirations, but sometimes it can be overwhelming to figure out how to make them a reality. You may be feeling stuck, frustrated, or even defeated. But let me tell you, you are not alone. We all face challenges and obstacles on our journey towards success. However, the good news is that by listening to this message, you can turn things around and start making progress toward your goals. These five strategies have been tried and tested by myself and countless others, and I can assure you that they work. So whether you're struggling to set clear goals, lacking motivation, or not sure how to overcome setbacks, this video is for you. By the end of this, you'll have a clear roadmap on how to achieve your goals with ease. So let's get started and unlock your full potential. Starting with number five, which is achieving your goals easily by surrounding yourself with like-minded individuals. Now, you may be wondering, what exactly do I mean by like-minded individuals? Well, let me paint a picture for you. Imagine being on a ship sailing towards your destination. You have a clear vision of where you want to go, but you are surrounded by people who have no direction or purpose. They are simply drifting along, going wherever the wind takes them. How long do you think it will take for you to reach your destination? It will be a long and difficult journey filled with distractions, doubts, and setbacks. However, imagine being on that same ship, but this time you are surrounded by a crew of individuals who share your vision, who are driven and determined to reach the same destination as you. They are like-minded individuals, and together you are able to navigate through any storm and reach your destination in record time. This is the power of surrounding yourself with like-minded individuals. They say that you are the average of the five people you spend the most time with. So if you want to achieve your goals easily, it is essential to surround yourself with individuals who are already where you want to be or who are on the same journey as you. Now, I know what some of you may be thinking. You may be saying, but Jim, I don't have anyone like that in my life. I don't know anyone who shares my goals and aspirations. Well, my friends, let me tell you this. You don't have to physically know someone to be surrounded by like-minded individuals. In this digital age, we have access to a wealth of resources and communities that can connect us with individuals who share our goals and values. The key is to be intentional about the people you surround yourself with, both in person and online. Seek out individuals who inspire you, who challenge you, and who push you to be your best self. Join groups and communities that align with your goals and interests. Attend events and seminars where you can meet like-minded individuals and expand your network. Surrounding yourself with like-minded individuals not only helps you stay focused and motivated, but it also opens up opportunities for growth and learning. You can learn from their experiences, their mistakes, and their successes. And in turn, you can share your knowledge and insights with them. It's a win-win situation. But let me also address another concern that some of you may have. You may be thinking, but Jim, what if I am the most successful person in my circle? What if I am the one who is already where I want to be? My answer to that is simple. It's time to level up. It's time to find a new circle, a circle of individuals who are further along in their journey than you are. This will push you to strive for more and continue growing. Surrounding yourself with like-minded individuals also means surrounding yourself with positivity and support. We all know that achieving our goals is not an easy feat. There will be challenges, setbacks, and moments of self-doubt. But when you have a group of like-minded individuals by your side, they will lift you up, encourage you, and remind you of where you started in the first place. On the other hand, 
If you surround yourself with negative and unsupportive individuals, they will only drag you down and make it harder for you to achieve your goals. So be mindful of the company you keep and choose wisely. Which leads us to number four, achieving your goals easily by visualizing your success. Now, you may be wondering, what does visualization have to do with achieving goals? The answer is simple, everything. Visualization is a powerful tool that can help you turn your dreams into reality. It is the process of creating a mental image of what you want to achieve. And let me tell you, it is not just wishful thinking. It is a proven technique that has been used by successful people throughout history. You see, our minds are incredibly powerful. They have the ability to create our reality. And when we visualize our success, we are training our minds to believe that we can achieve it. As the famous saying goes, whether you think you can or you can't, you're right. So why not use our minds to our advantage and visualize our success? Now, I want you to close your eyes for a moment and imagine yourself achieving your goal. See yourself standing on that stage, receiving that award, or signing the contract. Feel the emotions, the excitement, and the sense of accomplishment. The more vividly you can imagine it, the more real it becomes. This is the power of visualization. But visualization is not just about creating a mental image. It is about taking action towards your goal. You see, when you visualize your success, you are also creating a roadmap for yourself. You can see the steps you need to take, the obstacles you may face, and the solutions to overcome them. This clarity and focus can help you take the necessary actions to achieve your goals. Now, I want you to think about a time when you have achieved something in your life. It could be something big or small. Maybe it was getting a good grade in school, getting a promotion at work, or even learning a new skill. Think about the process you went through to achieve that success. Did you visualize it? Did you have a clear plan? I am willing to bet that you did. And that is why you were able to achieve it. But here's the thing, most people only visualize their success once or twice and then forget about it. They get caught up in their daily routine and lose sight of their goals. And that is where they go wrong. You see, to achieve your goals easily, you need to make visualization a daily practice. Take a few minutes every day to visualize your success. See yourself taking the necessary actions, facing and overcoming any challenges, and ultimately achieving your goal. This will keep you motivated, focused, and on track toward your goal. Another important aspect of visualization is to surround yourself with positive images and reminders of your goal. Put up a vision board in your room or office with pictures, quotes, and affirmations that represent your goal. This will serve as a constant reminder of what you are working towards and keep you motivated. But visualization is not just limited to your mind. It also involves your actions. You need to act as if you have already achieved your goal. This is not about being delusional but about having the mindset and behavior of someone who has achieved what you want. For example, if your goal is to become a successful entrepreneur, start dressing, talking, and acting like one. This will not only boost your confidence but also attract opportunities and people who can help you achieve your goal. Now, I want to address a common misconception about visualization. Some people believe that if they just visualize their success, it will magically come true. But let me tell you, visualization is not a substitute for hard work. It is a tool that can help you achieve your goals, but it requires action on your part. You still need to put in the work, be persistent, and never give up. Which leads us to number three, achieving your goals easily by creating a plan and sticking to it. Now, you may be wondering, what exactly does this mean? Well, let me break it down for you. Creating a plan means taking the time to sit down and map out exactly what you want to achieve. It means setting clear and specific goals, breaking them down into smaller actionable steps and creating a timeline for when you want to achieve them. This may seem like a simple and obvious concept, but you would be surprised at how many people skip this crucial step. You see, without a plan, your goals are just mere dreams. They are floating around in your mind, but they have no direction or purpose. 
But when you take the time to create a plan, you are giving your goals a roadmap to success. You are giving yourself a clear path to follow, and that is powerful. As the saying goes, a goal without a plan is just a wish. Now, creating a plan is only half of the equation. The other half is sticking to it. This is where many people struggle. They may have a great plan in place, but when it comes time to take action, they falter. They give in to distractions, procrastination, and self-doubt. But let me tell you, my friends, sticking to your plan is what separates the successful from the unsuccessful. So how do you stick to your plan? The first step is to have a strong and compelling reason why you want to achieve your goals. This reason will be your driving force, your motivation to keep going when things get tough. Maybe you want to provide a better life for your family, or maybe you want to prove to yourself that you are capable of achieving anything you set your mind to. Whatever your reason may be, make sure it is something that truly resonates with you. The second step is to eliminate distractions. In today's world, we are bombarded with distractions from every angle. Social media, television, and even our own thoughts can all pull us away from our goals. It is crucial to identify these distractions and find ways to eliminate or minimize them. This may mean turning off your phone while you work, setting specific times for checking social media, or finding a quiet place to work where you won't be disturbed. The third step is to surround yourself with like-minded individuals. Jim Rong once said, you are the average of the five people you spend the most time with. This means that the people you surround yourself with have a significant impact on your mindset, habits, and ultimately, your success. So make sure you are surrounding yourself with people who support and encourage your goals and who will hold you accountable when you start to stray from your plan. The fourth step is to track your progress. This is crucial because it allows you to see how far you have come and how much closer you are to achieving your goals. It also helps you identify any areas where you may need to make adjustments to your plan. Tracking your progress also gives you a sense of accomplishment and motivates you to keep going. And finally, the fifth step is to never give up. There will be obstacles and setbacks along the way, but that is all part of the journey. The key is to keep pushing forward even when it gets tough. Remember, success is not a straight line. It is a series of ups and downs. But if you stick to your plan and never give up, you will eventually reach your destination. Which leads us to number two, achieving your goals easily by breaking your goals into smaller tasks. Now, you may be wondering, why is breaking our goals into smaller tasks so important? Well, let me tell you, it is the key to success. When we break our goals into smaller tasks, we are essentially creating a roadmap for our success. We are breaking down the big, intimidating goal into manageable and achievable tasks. Think of it this way, if you were to build a house, you wouldn't start by trying to build the entire house in one go. You would start with laying the foundation, then building the walls, and so on. Similarly, when it comes to achieving our goals, we must break them down into smaller, more manageable tasks. Breaking our goals into smaller tasks also helps us to stay focused and motivated. When we have a big goal in mind, it is easy to get overwhelmed and lose sight of the end goal. But when we have smaller tasks to focus on, we can see our progress and stay motivated to keep going. Let me give you an example. Let's say your goal is to lose 50 pounds in the next six months. Now, that may seem like a daunting goal. But if you break it down into smaller tasks, such as losing two to three pounds per week, this may seem much more manageable and less intimidating. Another benefit of breaking our goals into smaller tasks is that it helps us to stay organized. When we have a clear plan of action, we know exactly what needs to be done and when. We can create a schedule and allocate time for each task, making sure we stay on track to achieve our goals. Now, some of you may be thinking, but Jim, breaking our goals into smaller tasks will only prolong the process. Why not just go all in and tackle the big goal head on? Well, let me tell you, that is a recipe for failure. When we try to do too much at once, we often burn out and give up. But by breaking our goals into smaller tasks, we are setting ourselves up for success. 
We are creating a sustainable plan that allows us to make progress consistently and ultimately achieve our goals. Now, I want to share with you some practical steps on how to break your goals into smaller tasks. Step 1. Start with the end goal in mind. What is it that you want to achieve? Be specific and write it down. Step 2. Break your goal down into smaller, more manageable tasks. Think about what needs to be done to achieve your end goal and write down each task, no matter how small it may seem. Step 3. Prioritize your task. Which tasks are the most important and will have the most impact on achieving your goal? Start with those tasks first. Step 4. Create a timeline. Set deadlines for each task and hold yourself accountable. This will help you stay on track and make steady progress. Step 5. Celebrate your victories. As you complete each task, take a moment to celebrate your progress. This will help you stay motivated and focused on the end goal. Remember, breaking your goals into smaller tasks is not about taking the easy way out. It is about setting yourself up for success. It is about creating a clear and manageable path to achieve your goals. And most importantly, it is about making progress consistently and ultimately reaching your full potential. Which leads us to number one, achieving your goals easily by setting specific and achievable goals. Now, you may be wondering, why is setting specific and achievable goals so important? The answer is simple. Without a clear and defined target, how can you expect to hit it? Imagine taking a road trip without a map or a destination in mind. You may end up driving aimlessly, wasting time and energy, and ultimately not reaching your desired location. The same goes for our goals. We must have a clear and specific target in mind if we want to achieve success. So the first step in achieving your goals easily is to set specific goals. This means being specific about what you want to achieve. It's not enough to say, I want to be successful, or, I want to be rich. Those are vague and general statements that don't give you a clear direction. Instead, you must be specific and say, I want to earn $100,000 in the next year, or, I want to start my own business within the next six months. By setting specific goals, you are giving yourself a clear target to aim for. But setting specific goals is not enough. We must also make sure that these goals are achievable. This means setting realistic and attainable goals. Now, don't get me wrong. I am all for dreaming big and setting audacious goals. But if your goals are too far-fetched and unrealistic, you may end up feeling discouraged and giving up on them altogether. It's important to find the balance between challenging yourself and setting achievable goals. One way to ensure that your goals are achievable is by breaking them down into smaller, manageable steps. Let's say your goal is to lose 50 pounds in the next six months. Instead of focusing on the end goal, break it down into smaller goals, such as losing two to three pounds per week. This not only makes the goal seem more achievable, but it also allows you to track your progress and make any necessary adjustments along the way. Another important aspect of setting achievable goals is to make sure they are aligned with your values and priorities. Your goals should be in line with your core beliefs and what truly matters to you. If your goals are not aligned with your values, you may find it difficult to stay motivated and committed to achieving them. Take some time to reflect on your values and make sure your goals are in alignment with them. Now, I understand that setting specific and achievable goals may seem like a simple concept, but it is often overlooked. Many people go through life without a clear direction, and as a result, they end up feeling unfulfilled and dissatisfied. But I am here to tell you that by setting specific and achievable goals, you can achieve anything you set your mind to. However, setting goals is just the first step. To truly achieve your goals easily, you must also have a plan in place. As the saying goes, a goal without a plan is just a wish. So once you have set your specific and achievable goals, it's time to create a plan of action. This plan should include the steps you need to take, the resources you will need, and the timeline for achieving your goals. Having a plan in place will not only keep you organized, but it will also give you a sense of direction and purpose. But even with a clear plan and achievable goals, there will be obstacles and challenges along the way. 
That's just a part of life. However, it's important to remember that setbacks and failures are not the end of the road. They are detours that can teach us valuable lessons and make us stronger. Don't let setbacks discourage you or make you give up on your goals. Instead, use them as fuel to keep pushing forward. In addition to having a plan, it's also crucial to have a positive mindset. Our thoughts and beliefs have a powerful impact on our actions and ultimately our results. If you constantly doubt yourself and your abilities, you will struggle to achieve your goals. But if you believe in yourself and your potential, you will have the motivation and determination to overcome any obstacles that come your way. Finally, I want to leave you with this thought. The journey to achieving your goals will not always be easy. There will be moments of doubt, fear, and uncertainty. But remember, the most rewarding things in life are often the ones that require hard work and perseverance. So do not be afraid to dream big, set specific and achievable goals, and take action towards achieving them. With determination, a positive mindset, and a clear plan, you can achieve anything you set your mind to. Remember to be specific, make sure your goals are aligned with your values, have a plan in place, and maintain a positive mindset. With these principles in mind, I have no doubt that you will achieve all your goals and live a life of success and fulfillment. Thank you.